So hi guys and welcome to Drive Spark. I'm Promit and today we are here in Mumbai and the MG Hector has been unveiled. So this is the car and there are two cars. One is in this black and the other one is in this red. I will just start off by showing you the hood. So this is available in two petrol, uh, sorry, this is available in two engine uh, variants. That is a petrol and a diesel. It's a 1.5 litre petrol and a 2 litre diesel. And uh, both are turbocharged. So yeah, let's now just go back to the cars. And so this is the front end. You can see that the indicators and the DRLs are right on top over here and then they have the projectors are all LED and those are the cornering lights we have MG written over here so everything is aligned so you have the headlights of the car placed on the bumper on the lower section and you have this amazing chrome finished grille that looks really awesome and you have the big MG logo right in the center over here you have the grill that's continued all the way to the down and everything is very clean and neat so you can see that there is a, the car is very subtle has very minimalistic approach the front no prominent creases or hood lines just the lines that connect over here now coming to the side now you get these Goodyear tires now these are 17 inches 215 nicely designed machine alloy wheels and as you go along the padding of the car, you can see that there is chrome present where there is Morris Garage written over here. You get a badging right over here. And overall, this is a very long car. It has a very long wheelbase as you can see that the wheelbase is really long. And so you have a lot of chrome present all around. Not actually all around but you have a chrome strip right running across the door and you have these body colored ORVMs that have the integrated LED indicators over here. You got a camera right over here so that while parking it can help you assist. You have chrome present on the door handles. You get a big panoramic sunroof on the top. And uh, now let's come to the rear. So now that's the boot. Just one second. It's five thirty seven. So yeah, uh, over here you get the Hector badging right over here in chrome. You get some chrome slats all around again an MG logo right here. All LED tail lamp cluster. So you get this internet inside. So you have this internet inside and to open the boot it's a one touch boot. So I guess, one second. So the boot just opens up like this. It is, the boot is actually really big. So, okay, so, so this thing has come off. Now you have 537 liters of boot space. Now that's a lot of space and luggage to keep a lot of things if five people are traveling. And this is a electronic tailgate. So with the help of a button, you just press this and the tailgate closes. Again, you see that the tail lamp continues all along the back of the car that looks really good and gives the car a really nice feel from the behind. You get roof rails that are silver in color. You can mount your luggage carriers over there or anything that you want. The car, I'm sorry guys, the car is a bit crowded from inside. And uh, let's start off with the rear seat. Now you can see that there is a lot of space now. This person who's sitting over here, you can see he's almost Okay, he's got down now. So you have a flat floor over here. So shifting or sitting like a third person, if he's sitting over here, that won't be an issue at all. You have rear AC vents, you have a charging socket. And yeah, the seats are quite nice. They are quite cushiony and soft. You get Isofix 
and these seats can be reclined now this can be reclined manually now you can like manually recline the seats um, so and this is a 60 40 split you have a center armrest that has two cup holders rear AC vents charging socket some cubby holes to keep your wallet and uh, yeah you get a piano black finishing over here around the ORVM controls or you know the ORVM uh, the window controls you have some brushed alu aluminium and you get an infinity sound system over here now we haven't been able to hear it but here you go this is the infinity sound system that this car has okay. so yeah I mean you just open the door you just you don't need to apply much pressure while closing the door so now let me just take you to the front seat and uh, you have the ORVM controls actually you have the ORVM controls over here and uh, these are for the power windows now that's the steering looks like a really chunky steering wheel and uh, seats now the front seat is now the front seat is really nice and uh, this over here features a uh, manual so this is a six speed manual transmission now you can see over here there is a six speed manual transmission it's a manual car now you get a big screen over here so this is a 10.4 and it is placed horizontally just like the phone so it can be easier for people to see so you are used to your phone so they have placed it like this so you have a lot of features over here and uh, you can actually so you can press the home button so you get you have uh, a lot of features over here guys so you can connect your phone there's uh, Apple CarPlay there's Android Auto you have your music and okay so over here it says hello LG Hector shows the temperature over here good screen big screen now so over here also you get a digital screen right in between the instrument cluster that helps you which are a lot of things. You have steering module controls. Now, talking about the steering wheel, it's a really chunky looking steering wheel. It's covered on leather. Now, there is no soft touch leathers around. This is hard plastic, but the quality of the plastic looks and feels really nice. You have some soft touch materials present over here. You have some aluminum accents, some rust aluminum accents over here. And uh, you have your charging sockets over here for the phone, and you have an aux cable right here. So, okay, so the ah. steering wheel is, uh, it is a adjustable, but tilt yeah. and telescopic uh, nahi, both, nahi. but it is manual. You have your speed limiters and the ORVM controls and a tailgate release button right over there. And you can see that around the AC you have got some brushed aluminium material that looks really nice. Overall guys, uh, interiors are very nice. The fit and finish quality is top notch. Sir, and uh, so you got vanity mirrors over here with lights you have a huge panoramic sunroof that features starry lights at night so it comes all the way up and yeah you have a space for the sunglass so there you go you have a sunglass holder and a mobile phone so you can keep your mobile phone over here you don't have much space you've got a cup holders you got a 360 degree camera view you get parking sensors over you can keep your mobile phones over there and uh, huge AC vents in the center that's a, that's a 10.4 inch infotainment system it's really nice touch is really sensitive you can just see with this the flick of finger so you can go to settings you can ca configure anything and connect your phone and yeah so let's just move outside so again you got infinity speakers over here
So this is also a hybrid car. Now you get a 48 volt uh, battery inside it, a lithium ion battery, uh, except the normal battery that is there in the car. And uh, so yeah, that's the black one. Over there is the red. I will just show it to you once again. Overall, guys, space-wise, the car. Can I? Overall, guys, space-wise, the car is really nice. It's a really big car, and this is the key of the Hector. Looks like a regular key, maybe. That's all. And. Uh, so once again, I'll just show you the rear. So you can see that this person is like standing out here, and because of the because of the flat over here. Hi, hi, hi! This is Anis. Hi. <laughs> hi, hi. <laughs> So we are at the rear seat and as you can see that there is enough uh, knee room, leg room and head room. So yeah, that, that's the panoramic sunroof that has been closed now. So you get a feature that features like starry lights over here and uh, looks really nice. Ambient, there's eight, you can change, uh, there are eight colors for the ambient lighting and they can change automatically or you can change them according to your need. So, rear AC vents again. I'll just show you the. This is the Morris Garage badging on the mat. Looks really nice. There's a flat bed over here. Now this floor is absolutely flat. So third person will, if a third person will be sitting, won't be an issue. And uh, here you get the armrest as I showed you before. So yeah, if you're four people going, it's a really comfortable car. Actually, there's a lot of knee room and leg room available. So I'm a six feet two inch person, and uh, the front seat also has been occupied by a six feet person. He's also sitting very comfortably, and uh, plus I'm also sitting comfortably over here. Still, there's a lot of space. So yeah, space-wise, it is absolutely phenomenal. It's a big car. It's a long car. And uh, these are the all LED tail lamps over here. So you get the hybrid badging right over here. You get the Hector badging over there. And uh, you get some chrome tips. Now that's not the exhaust. Over there the exhaust is underneath. So you get a reverse parking light over here. And you get the tail light. That's the reflectors that goes all the way across the rear of the car. Yeah, you get the MG logo right over there. Hector, now this is available in a hybrid also. So you have the hybrid badging over here. I told you it's got a 48 uh, volt lithium ion battery that uh, is there except the regular battery of the car. It's got regenerative brakes and uh, we don't know anything more about the car but as I told you it gets two, pet, uh, two uh, engine options. Again, Morris Garage is written over there. So you have on this car, the hybrid one, you have the internet inside written badging over here. 1.5 turbo unit. So this is the 1.5 uh, litre turbocharged petrol unit, 143 PS. 140 PS It also comes with a 48 volt hybrid. This is the first car in India to have that. So this also, this engine also has the electric motor. So this is the 48 volt uh, battery that powers it. So this is a hybrid car. And uh, so you have actually you've got hydraulic struts over there to hold the thing in place I guess and uh, yeah again 
You get a huge front grill, a chrome finished grill. Now you get a front parking camera. Now there's a 360 degree camera function. There's a button inside. Uh, 360 degree camera function inside and... Uh, sorry? So, yeah guys, and uh, the indicators as you can see that they are on right now and they are sweeping from inside to outside. Now that's a really cool feature and looks really nice. So it is there on the front. Let me see if it is there on the rear also. No, so the rear is just a normal LED light. So yeah guys, the MG Hector has been finally unveiled in India and as they say it is a human thing. So very soon we will be getting these cars, this will be launched very soon and we will be getting the cars and we will be testing it out for you all and telling you what exactly and how capable these cars are. Now we have got a glimpse of how the cars are from the outside, inside and all the facilities and the features that it has but later on we will give you and bring you a full fledged review of these cars so guys till then I'm Promit signing out thank you for watching and once again say hello to the MG Hector